Grills presents Mad Dog and Merrill Midwest Grillin'. Brought to you by Pit Boss Grills, Griddles and Accessories, Louisiana Grills and Smokers, The Power of Wisconsin Potatoes, Sun Drop Soda, Cherry Delight, Awesome Shrimp and Seafood, Shooting Star Casinos, The Wisconsin Agriculture Tourism Association, and by Lash Pro Visual Communications. Uh, Badger Camp Randall, that's just minutes away from here, a little bit south, is a great community of Verona, Wisconsin, and we're proud to be here today. We're proud to be part of their seventh annual fall festival, but first tailgate party. Yeah, that's great. Yeah, this that's is great. great. And that's we're kind of kicking off a beautiful Saturday here. It is homecoming for the Badgers uh, at the tailgate party here today, and every each and every year they got great things going on, like the mechanical bowls. They got axe throwing. They wow. got a, the halftime mascot race. Oh, I entered, really? I entered you and Freddie in it. Yeah, we don't even have to change. Too. <laughs> no, you certainly don't. But we're gonna have a great time here today. Yeah. And every tailgate party, you have to have fun. Well, yeah, we got definitely. a great audience with us. You got to have good eats. You got to have team colors. That's right. Team colors is very important. And know? what's the team colors today, Freddie? I think it's red and white. Isn't red it? And it is white. red and white. It's absolutely it's right. It's red and white. Uh, so everything that we'll be doing today will incorporate team parties. And when you do a tailgate party, that's one of the main things: is have fun. It doesn't matter really how the food turns out. Oh no, no! It's a having fun and make sure you support your local team, local <laughs> Badgers. Red and white, and that's what we're going to do today. i got to get some fresh bratwurst. Now, we have fresh brats today, and I don't right. mean fresh, but I mean nice fresh. They're a chicken bratwurst. Oh. Yeah, and, oh. and, and they're just delicious, but they're so fresh and so tender and, and so delicate that for one of the first times, I'm going to par cook them. Okay. Now, we don't I'm normally have to par cook, pre cook, give them a bath afterwards, whatever you do. But when you have a nice soft bratwurst like that, a chicken bratwurst, we're going to do a little par cooking right now. And in order to do that, when you come to Verona, they have, oh, some, they have some great microbrews. Oh, man, I love microbrews. I love What's Please. your favorite microbrew beer, Freddie? Hey, beer. Whatever's in my hand. <laughs> whatever's in your hand at that time. Uh, well, they got two great ones here. They have a, uh, of course, they have the Hop House. They've been around for about 10 years or so. Okay. And they got a great story for, for uh, uh, our good friends at Lake Louie. Now, Lake oh. Louie was actually a microbrew that existed a little bit further north and a little bit west. Okay. A gentleman started a microbrew and it, it, it turned into too much for him, but he had Lake Louie out his back. <laughs> so they had a brewery here in town, but it had a lake, but it had no name. All right. So, so basically what they did is they took solo cups and they had a little <laughs> relay every 30 miles, somebody showed up and grabbed that cup from Lake Louie of water. <laughs> and they took that last cup from Lake Louie's water about north of here, uh, about an hour or so, and they dumped it into the lake and they called it Lake Louie. So we have Lake Louie Brewery. Uh, so we're gonna do a little Lake Brewery here today. All right. And of course we have also the Hop House. I'm gonna grab a Hop House right here. This is their hashtag hazy. And we're gonna, uh, you can do, if we're doing chicken broth, you could do chicken broth. But we're gonna do beer today. That I makes like more that. sense. I like the flavor on beer and bratwurst. You know, the alcohol sort of disappears. And, and, uh, and it but really infuses the flavor. And when you're doing this, it really adds the flavor to it. Now I'm gonna I'm gonna add the, the, the bratwurst in here. I'm not gonna use much beer because we're gonna put them on the griddle to cook them. Because Merrill's got a big batch of chili cooking on the yeah, griddle. You better believe it. On the grill and it's taking up all the room, so we're gonna brew that. So I got the beer and the the brewskis in there. I'm gonna shove a couple little hot peppers in there, a couple little jalapenos in there. Good. We're gonna throw some garlic in there. You can do any little mismatch you want. Some people just par cook them in water and onions, right. and that's fine too. But we you're adding good flavor. That's we got like some good bay it. leaves in there, and I got a couple of sticks of butter that are gonna eventually melt into there. Got to have butter in Wisconsin. I'm gonna do a little uh, onion soup mix. Thank you. I right? love Why that. not, right? I do it. I like using the onion soup mix. No, I'm gonna. I'll stir that up in a little bit, but I'm gonna okay. get that on the griddle. Merrill gets mad at me because he has to clean the griddle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so I'm using pans today. Yes, he is. Because I would have found, you, found a way to pre-cook those bratwurst in a beer on the griddle somehow without a pan. I'll tell thank you that. Thank you. You're a good man. Absolutely. You're a good man on that. All right, Freddie. I'm waiting. Fourth and ten. Fourth and ten. Fourth you know, and ten. What do you do? What do you do? Where are you gonna go? 
This guy over here who had one of your drinks a little earlier, he looks a little thin right now. <laughs> <laughs> Good old Bloody Mary. Gotta use it with an old vodka today. You know, you can do a Bloody Maria with tequila. Okay. Because they've done it with gin and everything. But the big thing is I like about doing Bloody Mary, especially at home, is that you gotta clean out your refrigerator. It's refrigeration you, day. And you can use any type of flavors that you want to <laughs> use. And Freddie, this is your lucky day. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> All right. So let's start off things. Let's need a little liquid in there first just to get it going. All right. Got a little W sauce. Where's your sauce doo, doo, in there? Doo, doo. <laughs> a little bit of DeWert. Homemade ketchup, mustard, sauerkraut. People and use DeWert in their Bloody Marys all the time. Yeah, it's great. You don't want to overdo it, but you want to add just a little bit of flavor in there. Ooh. Like good, because since we've got a big, big glass here, I want to use about two or three tablespoons on that. A little bit of hot sauce. All there right. we go. Be careful. You can do it to your own taste. So let's start adding some more flavor. We've got some ginger. Ooh. That's garlic. Oh, uh, I mean garlic. I'm sorry. Thank you. <laughs> How long can the I ginger, smell it? I can smell it. The ginger's over here. Thank you. Folks. I thought so. There you go. There's a ginger. Little slivers of ginger. Yeah, got it. <laughs> All right, a little bit of pickle juice in here. And then I'll put the pickle in there. How about a little that. kiss the lips, Lake, uh, Lake Louis? Oh, yeah. Do that. Do that. Put that in there. All All right. Right. So you know what's interesting? <laughs> Anybody want to kiss the lips too? <laughs> <laughs> Bloody Murray started about in the 1920s. Okay. All right. In the 1950s, they had a shortage of vodka. So this is how they came in. <laughs> I wanted that, Freddie. <laughs> they had a shortage of vodka. So they would go ahead and use beer in there okay. instead of that. So now, now we got vodka. You, like I said, we can do it without gin. But let's add some fresh lime. Ooh. Squeeze a fresh lime in that. Reinforce the flavor. Oh, it is. Yes, sir. <laughs> I love that. A little lime, a little lemon. Yeah, little yeah, lemon yeah. You gotta put that in there. So we, so we're at the home, hometown USA park. Yeah. And hometown USA became of all in Vietnam, 19, 1966. Newsletters by the American Legion sent to the 101 first airborne group in Vietnam. They sent the, the newsletters. All right. And, and, and all the groups got at the, at the, uh, in the Airborne got to read that newsletter from the American oh, Legion. That's awesome. It was like a hometown little, that's the only connection yeah. they had with the hometown. So they nicknamed, and the name for Verona is Hometown USA. And, and we have the American flag out here. Uh, our era is Vietnam, so we understand the right. value yeah. of, of representing and honoring those folks. Sure. Thank That's you, great. sir. Thank you very, very much. So, yeah, thank you hometown for USA. Service. A little lemon in there. A little okay, grandma. Okay, a little grandma hazels. That's another thing. A lot of people don't realize grandma hazels great in bloody Mary. No, she never rubbed anybody. No, wrong. she didn't. All right, put a little bit in there. Okay, sir. So you ready for the juice? <laughs> yeah. You want the pickle juice? Ooh, that's gonna be good. I like it. A little that. more. What the heck? Yeah. If we need. Is that homemade? Did you take in? Yeah, yeah, I can. Tom I can tomatoes. You did. You did. You yeah. see his feet though? They're a little red this morning. <laughs> oh, I got rid of the purple from the wine. <laughs> yeah, you did. All right, bump, bump, bump. You got we some got left over here though. Oh, we forgot the peppers. Man. Oh, <laughs> look at this. No, we're not. We're not going to kill you today, Freddie. No, I see they're oh, just slices at the end to get the flavor of the. So jalapeno you split the there. jalapenos. Yep. Get the flavor. Slice that in there. All right, there we go. So, Freddie, you know. <laughs> You're going to have to wait just a little bit because we're going to let that muddle. But here's what we're going to do. When you come to a tailgate party, when you come to Verona, anything works. So here's what we got. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I got the baggie. <laughs> <laughs> and in that baggie are two shot glasses of pickles. Oh, really? So we're going to put the pickles down there. We're going to grab a little bit of Merrill's uh, vodka. Yeah. And oh. You, <laughs> oh, come on. Right. There we go, Freddie. Edible Freddy, garnish. Get her quick. She leaks out the bottom. All right, just put your finger there and get ready. Ooh. I know where your hair went to. Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> we got it. We got it. That's good. Mm, yeah. I bet it is. Yeah, bet good, your tequila pretty. would be good in there. Mm. Okay, so we gotta get okay. some sauerkraut going. We got the, the brats are cooking away, they're simmering. We're gonna do a little sauerkraut mixture. We're gonna take the sauerkraut. I'm gonna put some uh, little Ziploc bags on here. Oh boy. Gotta have sauerkraut. Oh 
Hey, Verona's a great little city. We're going to talk some more on it, but I'll tell you what, they got so much to offer in the community. They got golf courses, they got golf courses, they got soccer fields. We passed the ice arena to get in here. They got volleyball, gymnastics, swimming, lacrosse, baseball. Uh, if you've got a family to raise, may I suggest to you to come to Verona and check out uh, the great, great community here in Verona. What a nice little community. So we're going to take the sauerkraut, we're going to take some tomatoes. I can oh, some right. tomatoes. Oh, sure. Well, <laughs> Hey, no, he no he laughing in the peanut gallery. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> when he says the whole jar, he does mean the whole jar. <laughs> so I'm, I'm going to rush here. this right here. We're going to pop a little bit of butter. All right. <laughs> and I'll get this stirred up. We've got All butter. Right. we got brown sugar. Uh, I was going to put pickles, but we'll nick schnee those. But I do have to use my, oh, I put, oh, I put beer. i got to have beer in here, too, don't I? So we're going to use a little bit of our, our good friends at the Hop House. We're going to do their plaid panther. And a great little micro. Oh, look at that. That's dark oh, beer. Oh, that's going to be good. Nice dark beer. I'll just use a little bit. Thank you. And we'll get that on the griddle. we got to get this baby on the griddle. We're going to get this slow cooking. We'll be right back with Mad Dog and Merrill's Midwest Grilling from Verona, Wisconsin. Visit Verona, Wisconsin, WI.com. All right. Look at that. And you can visit Verona, WI.com, and learn about the great community here. You know, one of the interesting things I found about the community here is they have a, they have a, 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 a software company called Epic Systems. Okay. okay. And, and, and it, it employs well over a thousand people here right in Verona. Oh, really? All right. And the employment, they have beautiful artwork throughout the whole facility. It, it's set up in a nature type setting. And to work there, I guess, is just phenomenal. So if you ever want to think about software companies and working for them, Epic Systems uh, is a great place to come, I'll guarantee you. And a good friend of ours here in town, and we know they're awesome folks, is Miller & Sons Market. Miller & Sons Market has been around since 1902. And you know why I know they're awesome folks? Oh, I bet they carry awesome shrimp. They carry awesome shrimp, and that's part of the garnish for All your right. thing. I like that. Frios. <laughs> Frozen pops, Frios. Wow. This is a pickle pop. All right. So that can be added right to any Bloody Mary. All right, <laughs> and we're here as one of the vendors today, along with our good friends at 608 Bakery. Uh, we got Del Prairie's popcorn, uh, uh, kennel corn. We got some great little vendors. Great event here. Yeah. It's the tailgate party for Verona Fall Fest, the first annual tailgate party. It's going to be a great time here today. You know what's great though? I don't even need the ice. It's got the dang on pickle pop stuff on there. Got to, what you more got, can I ask? Freezos. Freezos. <laughs> so you, you can make it on those, okay? All right, all right. Hey. Sounds good. Is he up? I gotta, up. Re I gotta get ready here. All right. <laughs> all right. All right. <laughs> well, little Grandma and I'll get the garnish ready. All right. Sounds good. So the team colors. Team colors garnish is royal red shrimp from our good friends at Miller & Sons Awesome Shrimp, okay. and of course some pearl onions. All right, so that's man. the red and white today. Go ahead, I'm sorry. All right. Grandma Hazel, great in the Bloody Mary. As you can see, I went ahead and put that in the mix there. Sprinkle that a little bit on the ice. That's all what you have to do. You're all set. We've and that made floats the in different layers. Yeah, oh the yeah, yeah you better, I should have done it that way too. <laughs> but it's really good for the flavors. It's got that really nice oh, flavor oh, oh, on there for it too on there. The awesome shrimp, as you know, I can add anything to the Bloody Marys. Are you going to add your it. vodka to it? I'm going to add vodka in there. Vodka's a good Freddy point. Freddie says just it? forget the talking so and I take four. it that that's Freddie's. This is mine. Yep, and this is mine over here. All right, so no vodka over yeah, yeah, there. Yeah, I'll pour mine right away. All oh, right. Oh, man, that's a dandy. We well, should shake a... that up one more time. All right, Freddie. So tailgating is fun. <laughs> tailgating is fun. <laughs> whether you go to the big game, whether you do it at home, or we suggest the annual tailgate party here with Verona Fall Fest. That's a guarantee. Oh, look at that. Uh, Are you ready for the rest? Yes. Yeah, go for it, go for it. We got, we'll wait for the garnish. Beautiful, sir. <laughs> All right, Freddie, this is yours. Oh, look at that. I <laughs> can't <laughs> well, come here to get drunk. <laughs> he came here to stay that way. Yeah. Meryl, oh, we'll man. next day the pearl onions on yours. Yeah, all right, all right, sounds good. We'll just get her going. And well, we got yours see going. what this is like, Fred. That's a winner. All right, we'll take it, we'll yeah. take it. <laughs> I love it. Hey, Ray, so we got to toast. We got to toast the Badgers. Uh, Prost, uh, and Prost, uh, home yeah, 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 Badgers. Go, go. Whether you, whatever your team colors is, remember team colors, red and white today. <laughs>
Holy schmackers. Oh, man. That tastes like more. It does. <laughs> oh, that's really good. Wow, that is really good. Nobody ever read well, mustache. I'll tell you, the jalapeno just adds a right pizzazz. That was the that. jalapeno in there, wasn't it? Yeah. Because yeah. that Louisiana don't add nothing. Okay, so a little red and white, little red and white accent. The mm. sauerkraut is bubbling away. The bratwurst, we got to get the brats of browning right now. Those look absolutely delicious. So we're going to grab <laughs> these off the grill. All right. And I'm going to get these babies on the griddle. Those are all par cooked. I don't have to worry about the chicken. I don't have to worry about the fresh bratwurst action. We're just going to get those nice, beautiful, fresh brats with the flavor of the brats, the garlic, the, the, uh, the bay leaves in there. Get those that's babies good. going. The it. sauerkraut is cooking just absolutely gorgeous. That started out a little wet, and that's drying off, and that's exactly what we wanted. Now we need a little red and white onions. Oh, and the color. So without we got the, the white onions and the beautiful red peppers. Oh. Nothing says Wisconsin like that. So, Freddie, what's your favorite tailgate food? Awesome shrimp. <laughs> <laughs> that was, imagine. Who would think he'd come up with that? <laughs> Unbelievable. So we're going to get that baby all mixed together. So we have the red and white. We have the uh, the griddles nice and warm here. You know, years ago, we used to come to Madison, the Big Red Club. Mad Dog and I would go ahead and do the catering. Anybody ever hear of the Big Red Club? Yep. Yeah, yeah, isn't yeah. that great? So, so we do the catering for it. Burn Auto, God bless his soul, found the right spot where we're supposed to go. We'd we actually set up in a medium, right, right, right by Camp Randall there, and uh, buses would come in. Five buses would come in. We did chuck eye steaks, brats, burgers. It was just phenomenal. Good Here's time. The burn. Yeah. Here's the burn. Here's, Here's the, the burn. Here's the burn. It yeah, was a good time. That was. <laughs> times we can talk about, times we don't remember, right. and times we don't <laughs> yeah. dare mention. So the first year though, Burn got very upset is that we had a blue and white tent. Oh, yeah, that's absolutely right. That didn't work out so good. No, it did. Next year we had the red, the red white tip. Exactly this is really right. good. Oh. So, so other things in the area here at Verona, which is really nice, is a portion of the 112 Ironman bike race is ran on oh, a nice wow. trail here. So if you like biking, there's great areas. The Ice Age Trail runs through here. They got the Military Ridge Trail and the Sugar Oh, they got the, the paddling for, for, for like paddling and kayaking and stuff like that. Yeah. Great stuff. Great time here in Verona. Whoa. There you go, Freddie. How about a little... There you go. Keep going. How about a little, how about a little badger tune real fast? A little badger. No. The, uh, the, 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 the... the I know what you're say, When you say... There. There we go. That's Verona. That says Verona, Wisconsin right. right there. That says Verona Fall Fest, tailgate party, a great time here. <laughs> And our good friends, I'll tell you that. Thanks to the 101st Airborne, uh, the good folks back in 1966 who had to go to Vietnam and received the newsletter so that they could name the town here Hometown USA. I'll yes, tell you yes, that. That's a nice good story. Good for you. Well, Hello. let's get things to cooking here. We'll All be right. right back with more Mad Dog and Merrill's Midwest Grilling from right, Hometown, we'll Wisconsin. Right too. Don't go anywhere. We're right here. Stay right here. Freddie's playing a little football here, hero. We're at the tailgate party. We're at the Fall Fest. We're in Verona, Wisconsin. You know, Verona, Wisconsin, 12 minutes from Madison. I know. And if, if you're going to visit Madison, if you have to go to Madison area, if you're going for any event up there, come and stay in Verona. They got some great hotels. They got some great eats. It's a great little quiet, <laughs> nice little community with a lot of good things to offer. And it's a great, great community i'll tell you that it is. but beautiful. more red and white more red and white we so, it's it right here. so Merrill bought it Merrill made a big batch of chili and i don't think we've really showed that baby but no, we're going to feed the audience will now. we will now uh, a gorgeous big batch of chili i think we, we got a little b-roll of that i think i would you take that board off on there yeah, so yeah. I, do that. I don't think we need that baby sliding around <laughs> thank you sir man so Merrill, Merrill suggested <laughs> white kidney beans red kidney beans red peppers and white onions for the red and white because uh, like you want to infuse the flavor. Team for one thing. I know, but you want to infuse that flavor. Get so your nice fresh flavor. The red and white. So we're gonna add there. these in at the end so they're All nice right, and crispy, beautiful. and we're gonna stir I those babies it. around. We gotta have a big. This is Merrill's baby spoon. Yeah, yeah. Look out! Look out! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, now we've got. It. Thicken that baby up a little bit on there. Oh, that looks delicious. It does. Look those at onions that. are gonna be crisp. 
I love crisp onions. I love make on chili with the right of a crisp onion. Yeah, onions maybe a little bit of cheese on there, a little bit of sour cream when you're oh. done. And then oh. I'm a chili man. We'll hold out brown or stop Mad Dog Marrow from Midwest Girl. We'll be right back in Verona. Yeah. Welcome back to Mad Dog and Merrill's Midwest Grilling. All right, from Verona, Wisconsin, we're having a great time here today, I'll tell you that. We've got the chili, we've got the tailgate party, right. we've got some great vendors here at Verona Fall Fest tailgate party, Mad Dog and Merrill's Midwest Grilling with Fast Freddy. Hey, thank you, everybody. Mad Dog and Merrill's Midwest Grilling is a production of Lashbro Visual Communications.